Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone 4 Modern Day Mod as Communist Albania. Last episode, we brought down Russia. Just like that. We just smashed them and, well, annexed them. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't think this would happen. Honestly, to God, I didn't think this would happen. I thought we would have to fight them two, maybe three episodes. But holy crap, we just completely destroyed them. Uh, so, um, well, time to turn against NATO without, well, as little as possible time in between. Uh, so, alright, we have like 300 days, so let's just unpause straight away while I fix everything that, well, some of the things you asked me in the comments, some of the things I just feel I need to fix. So, first of all, SP plus like 20. Mechanized plus 20 as well, I think. Uh, let's be SP is fine. Motorized. Mechanized, I mean. Mechanized is also fine. Tanks, also kind of fine. Um, so I'm gonna get a couple of. Oh, we're only getting three more. Let's get another 10 more at the same time. Uh, let's deploy it actually at our real territory. Thank you. Because suddenly we have manpower from conquering all of Russia. Over 2 million. And someone also said, for the love of God, <laughs> for the love of God, Daniel. Get some sheep garrison units. And yeah, I, I'm actually gonna agree to that. It would be so nice if I could just pull back all my tanks and I could put everyone to good use. So, some support anti-tank, anti-air, some support... Uh, some, ugh. I always said anti-tank, so I can't say it again. Artillery. And that's one I'm trying to say. And let's... Well, actually, just yeah, stay with that. And then we're gonna get some artillery. Actually, it's gonna become like this. Artillery. Artillery, infantry division, 20 combat with. Not super good, but it's reasonably cheap. So uh, I think we're going to be fine like this. Infantry template, and let's see. How many can we get produced? I think I want 72. Basically one full garrison order, but we can't. So I guess 65 will have to do. Do we have enough, uh, let's see, anti-air, fine. Anti-tank, fine. Artillery, fine. Infantry equipment, completely fine. So yeah, okay, let's just be happy with 65 then. Uh, let's see, anything else we were supposed to do? Yes, 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 of course. Someone said, well, it was hurting his eyes that we still call him Motorized Division. So we're gonna, of course, change that to Armor Division and save that. I have still no clue what it says, but, well, let's hope it's something good. Oh, crap, the name. We have to fix the name as well. Um, let's just call it... Mm, I could try to be clever right now. Albania Armor... Uh, Nope, nope, we're just gonna call it, um... Destroyers of Russia. Boom! And you're still not called that. Come on, can I copy-paste? Can we do these cool things in-game of names? Oh, good, nice. <laughs> God, I, I was slightly bored, bothered by that myself, but I didn't think anyone cared, so, well, I didn't fix it, but now people care, and let's fix that. Uh, some, of, some of you also wanted me to actually get an Air Force up and rolling. Um, I think it might be kind of too late for that if I, well, if I want to contend with Europe. I think it might be as better to put all that extra effort into more and more tanks, so we can actually just, well, take them down instantly. Just smash through whatever they have, take their air bases so they can't use their planes, and just steam through, really. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, right, we had 40 more additional factories right now. I think our main issue... Oh god, we have tons of factories. A lot of them being destroyed. Uh, let's see, all of this anti-air. Yeah, you can pretty much just say... Well, repair the crap out of everything first, and then we will see about that um, because we have a lot of repairing to do and with a lot of repairing to do I mean a hell of a lot of repairing to do so let's fix that first we do have tons of civilian factories so it should go uh, kind of fast uh, all right anything else anything else uh, let's see that was fast um why was getting so much manpower while conquering Russia well what the sheets no not sheets um, well states uh, right here, from this single state of 2.4 million, I get 27,000 recru recruitable population. So, well, Russia is quite large, quite a lot of people, 
And even if I only get those 2%, well, 2% of Russia is pretty goddamn much. Uh, one thing I was thinking was service by requirement right now. Anyway, just to increase manpower even more. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we were. I was also thinking of doing one more thing, but I can't remember what it is right now. So let's just ignore that. Uh, whatever, whatever it was I was gonna say uh, or do. Uh, when Austria has 78 to 103 divisions and Germany has 60 to 92. Did someone say reverse Anschluss? What? Oh my god, Austria has more divisions than Germany. <laughs> well, German, German divisions gotta be a hell of a lot better than the Austrian ones. Just imagine, 64, un 64 factories used for, well, at least 68 divisions. Well, if you compare with Austria, 75 to 24, that's quite a big difference. Uh, we have four more factories, let's just add them to infant equipment right now because now we're actually gonna use some of it. Uh, let's see, uh, and then we had someone who actually caught up on my Total War reference, very nice. Uh, let's, I, I love it when I just drop random quotes and we have this one guy in chat who's like, mm, got it, got it, very nice. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, uh, Danny you mentioned, uh, mentioned something about, an oh right, that comment, uh, a no research run and you want me to do it as Russia against a max buffed Germany. Like I think there's a slight issue with it since I'm gonna need anti-tank guns. And as far as I remember, Russia doesn't actually start with any anti-tank guns, which means German tanks are just gonna completely obliterate me. Like, I won't be able to stop them for the, for anything. Like, they will steam through me right now. They will just completely crush me. But I could maybe do um, no research run if I'm allowed... Well, against a max buff, Germany, that is. If I'm allowed to actually just research anti-tank guns. Then I think it's a lot more viable and actually maybe something that I can do. Uh, let's see. So, uh, anyway... Why do I have all these visions scattered up like I'm gonna assign oh my god Daniel. oh my god not again and I want you guys to be right there There we go. Thank you assigned correct leader. Thank you. Wait wait you can't be the correct film and your panzer leader What what the hell did I assign you wait what? Will you give yeah, of course you will be giving all of those extra stats now to all the wow. So you can have one pencil leader for everyone and one pencil leader for the field. I never really thought about that. That's pretty goddamn good. Uh, right, right, one more thing here. Um, these units, you are gonna group together into one division and you're also gonna take the pencil leader right there and you're gonna join up with the main army right now. And since you haven't had any action at all, I'm actually gonna assign you right here to help out with this invasion. Congrats. You have joined the main army of the Albanian forces. And I probably don't need experience points for you guys, but I why not? Let's just have you training right there. Uh, let's hide that. Let's get, um, yeah, let's get expand army officer corps. Thank you. A bit more experience points. Why the hell not? Come on, pick it. Thank you. Uh, divisions available. Uh, we have three more right there. So, <laughs> oh, did I take? Yeah, I took one too many. God damn it, not th from there. One from there, one from there. Cool, now we're done. Uh, so, I was gonna plan to take all of you guys, this division, or this, well, this, <laughs> this army are gonna go right there, and we're pretty much gonna do the same thing as before, we're gonna take half of you, assign right there, and you're gonna take down, actually, let's, let's make the order over across this entire thing, thank you. So, yeah, you split up right there, and uh, then we have these guys, uh, NATO. You're not in NATO, but you are in the European Union, which means I'm gonna need some divisions right there. Maybe I should take just a full army, really, to just bring down, well, Finland, Norway, Sweden with you. Norway's actually not in EU or NATO. So, Finland, Sweden at least. Uh, okay, then we only have really 24 divisions for the rest of this front, which means that's not even close to enough. Uh, all right, we have 24 more right there and 11 right there, but yeah, they're gonna all right So these 24 divisions, where are you gonna be? I think I'm gonna actually place you out right here 
at the most northern parts. Basically, all we're doing right now is assigning troops, well, at least in this part, to your going to cover all of this, hopefully, uh, once the war actually break out. Right now I can't make front lines against all three of them since they're not in a faction, puppets to each other or anything similar. So I'm just gonna make one defensive line right here. Once the war begins, I'm just gonna draw one line and you're gonna take down all three of those nations. Then we have two more armies right here. 24-24. Well, they're gonna be 24-24. Uh, you are supposed to be repeatedly now, forever basically. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, you can even be 12 divisions right now. Yes, please. Uh, we should have enough tanks and mechanized and everything for this. Yeah, we're completely fine, especially with tanks. <laughs> Getting another 37 tanks every single freaking day. And there were the repairs done. Wow, that was a lot quicker than I expected. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do something a bit weird right now. I just want complete observatory powers right here. Hello, Kalingrad. Maybe I can do some fun with you. Yeah, this is way too many radar stations. I know, I know, but it's fun, so I want to do it. Um, hello. What if I said that I just want a couple more fort levels right here? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it that. I'm gonna add um, no more fort levels, but maybe one additional just pile of tanks right there, like 24 tanks. You're just gonna just try to steamroll through. Oh, actually, they're gonna try to push down for Poland. I think. I think that makes the most sense. Like the coastline right here, just wreak havoc. That means I want to deploy you guys right away and then do like this. One, two, three, four, and do three right there. You are going to be deployed. De uh, you're going to be deployed right there. Uh, times one. Uh, do we have enough tanks for all of them? Oh my! Oh no! Oh, no! Uh, we had. Yeah, we had enough for uh, four tanks for everyone except that single one. Goddamn! Wait, what? No, wait. We had enough tanks for you. What the hell are you missing? Oh, it just took some time to load or something. No, that's modern tanks. Why does it say I have a stockpile of it if in case of me missing any? Wait, 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 wait just a freaking second. Yeah, it said I was missing modern tanks, but I was not missing modern tanks. Or am I completely insane right now? I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards insane, but... Uh, well, whatever. Let's see, how many more days before here? Uh, we have another, oh cool, only 5 more days right there, which means should be about 100 more days before we attack, Na well, attack Austria. Actually, 150 days. And they're guaranteed by Germany right now, so I guess NATO is going to be slightly more prepared. Well, actually, they're going to be more prepared than I, well, they're going to be a lot more prepared than I wanted. But, well, what do you do? I was kind of half expecting that to happen. Uh, let's see. Oh crap! These 65 divisions I actually never did anything with you. Uh, you guys just declare this war, and well, remove them from the map, please. Shouldn't be any hard. And there we go. 65 garrison divisions, new theater, uh, new field marshal. Yeah, you're perfect for it. Uh, just need a division right now with the um, reconnaissance. Sure, sure. And garrison. You're gonna cover that, that, this, this. That area, let, I'm just going to take this a bit slowly right now, so I don't miss any areas. Uh, this will be blocked off extremely quickly, because I'm just going to go straight over right here, and just, well, take Istanbul, which means no troops should be able to get over there. And we also have a fleet inside there, uh, which should probably not be <laughs> producing any more... <laughs> <laughs> more fleets right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I should probably pl be placing my new, well, my new ships right here and not at other other place uh, because we can't remove them from there until we actually brought down uh, Turkey. So everyone, let's go back to Al Albania Navy, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, right, garrison order. There we go. Um, so that's gonna be entirely fine. Uh, so I guess what's only missing is that we garrison the crap out of all of these territories. Uh, I don't want to lose my African holdings because that could be very annoying. And also if I have some troops stationed right here, they might focus a bit on it. 
actually this is plain stupid. So I need like 30 divisions for that. Uh, I'm actually gonna make an entire separate thing about this. Otherwise we might have units transferring back and forward over the sea while they have their fleets right there and just destroying me. So I'm just gonna make this separate. It's a lot better. Uh, there we go, you're gonna cover only that. You need one more division, sure, that's completely fine. Then we'll also have use of it lost, uh, lost commander right there. Let's just assign two more right there. These 30 divisions, I'm just gonna remove your current order and then redo this tiny, tiny thing right there. Uh, that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, that should be proper, nice. Um, cool, you're gonna go right there, we're covering that entire area, there's nothing that can bother us from behind. No, we're cool. Uh, Kazakhstan, while well, you're actually holding on a bit longer than I expected. Uh, could you guys just go in and take the capital please? Oh, maybe I was paused actually. And that's why they're holding out longer than I expected. Maybe. Uh, let's just add all three of these to three right now, because, well, I'm using all of you. You should get to five, and you can get to three right there. And I'm gonna get one full of infant equipment, just because it feels good to have that. We're gonna bump up mechanized and bump up SP whenever we can. And right here, we have a tons and tons upon radar stations, and that's basically showing me everything they have right now. Cool, and we're building even more. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can build up our anti-air defenses of this entire region, sure. Hmm, what else, what else, what else? No, I'm pretty sure we have prepared as much as possible. All that's missing is more tanks. So yeah, just keep at it. Just keep producing more and more tanks. Uh, how many can actually produce at the same time? Like, 29? No. That's way, way too many right now. Let's end that turn. Thank you. That means I should have enough chromium for everything I need. Right. We should probably cancel a couple of trades. Cancel that one. Cancel this one. Uh, okay. Maybe not that one, but the rest of them. Thank you. Uh, do you have any kind of NATO nation or anything to the east of me? Yes. Afghanistan is actually NATO, then, but we don't have any kind of border with them. Nope. Okay. Then we're good. Then we're good. Focus everything on the west. So, uh, let's see. You guys have your order right there. You, 24 divisions. You are gonna be straight below them. Actually, should be covering that region as well. Uh, let's see. Was I gonna ignore that or not? I think I am gonna ignore that because it's gonna be... Well, the divisions right there have a high chance, even if my tank divisions are this, uh, this good, it gets surrounded, and that would just be plain out bad. So, actually, your order is going to be just like that then. Then this guy's order is going to be... Oh, wait, that will be too far for them. How in hell am I going to do this? I, I simply need one more tank division. Like, I want these guys to cover this. Then I want one sole division that's going to cover the entire southern side here of Hungary and just march upwards and kill them that way. So this, that, they should have a division that is all the way right there. This name right there. So we cover this entrance or we cover that opening. And there's someone calling me. I can't unfortunately take it right now. Sorry, uh, just writing a message that I'm recording right now. Sorry. Well, that's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, let's see, 4.5, let's see, research, we have... Right, God damn it, those fighters are kind of haunting me right now. I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna research on fighters just in case. Fine, do it, let's do it. <laughs> I'm saying, and with that I meant, let's do it and research the next artillery level. I was gonna, uh, in my mind, I said, okay, let's screw, <laughs> let's screw the fighters and instead get the next level artillery. <laughs> but I'm unsure about it. But yeah, whatever, screw it, let's do it. And that was meant directed to the artillery. Som somehow I speak faster in my mind without actually saying it. So sometimes, well, actually, I think a lot of times, I must sound like a freaking madman. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Is there anything we actually need? 
I guess rubber. Should we get some rubber? Yeah, I think we should get some rubber. Uh, because, well, why the hell not? We can we, we can afford... We, and we have the space for it. More like it. And that should be all our rubber needs for days upon days. Thank you. Uh, let's just finish off this. And the infrastructure, please. Okay, uh, modify government. God, these tanks are very slowly to be trained. Uh, let's see, how many days do I actually have left on this justification? That's like another 100 days. So I think I will go, oh, actually, I should definitely not at least be on construct repair right now. But let's be on army training. 25% reduction. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, let's see. They shall be finished the 31st of January. Okay, yeah, that's good. That would be quick enough. Or will it? September, October, November, December. That won't be quick enough. Uh, so I guess I will just train you as much as possible. And then just deploy you. Uh, so times one. And times one. Oh, that was already times one. So yeah. That'll be good enough, I guess. And I guess looking at the time right now we won't actually have time to declare war against nato this episode but it would be god damn it that's kind of just a build-up episode and i don't count killing off kazakhstan as real or, or was it yeah kazakhstan as a well war that was just clean up so another build-up episode wow that's boring uh let's see i'm gonna fix my anti-air guns right here now since I don't really have anything else to do. Sure, I guess I can always build more military factory and stuff like that. But I have enough production to get what I want and however much I want it. And because I'm not going to wait for more time. Well, I'm not going to wait for more time to actually get more divisions. Which means factories, civilian factories, all of that is good in time. But I don't want to wait that time. So... Let's just give. Well, let's just build everything that's gonna give me something right away. Why I'm building all of these rubber factories? Well, because it's fun. I wanna have. I wanna be fully self-dependent uh, before I declare this war and take over the world. Uh, okay, these divisions gonna get deployed. I'm gonna deploy like half of them right there. Then I guess we're gonna have some extra random divisions scraping around somewhere. But I guess we'll see. Maybe, maybe we can actually fill this entire... Oh, right, right, right here. No, that was 24 divisions right there. Okay, I don't know. We can have like... Uh, we can have exactly, actually, 11 divisions just scraping around. So we'll see what to do with them. Uh, these divisions join up right there. Right there, please. Uh, I like it that this area is well defended by like five divisions on each single spot. We have this one random tank... Oh, you still have your order right there. Yeah, you're not going to have that order anymore. Um, actually, let's do it. Then, yeah, I want to keep one tank on my capital, for the love of God. It just feels like the correct thing to do. Why, why does it say no division? Come on, you guys, right there. Thank you. And stay right there. Yeah, it feels like the correct thing to do. In case of them doing a massive naval invasion or something, that tank should be able to hold for long enough for me to, well, get reinforcement there. Reinforcements there. Um, okay. How long left? How long left? Come on. I want to clear this war. Maybe I should just accept it that it won't be this episode. It's another 5, 35, 45, 60, uh, 50 days left. Uh, close economy, free trade, uh, no, nothing like that. Oh god, I might have over, uh, overdone the rubber thing a tiny bit. And we still have tons left. <laughs> uh, let's just at least pull this one down to one factory each. The anti-air will actually help me slightly, so... Actually, let's cancel some of these. But let's actually build something that will help me. If I'm gonna be kind of efficient and not build more military factories or anything like that, then let's do that with rubber factories as well. Let's just cancel these either, these two, even though they had, well, quite far progress on themselves. So let's just build anti-air guns because that's actually gonna be helpful. And let's focus on getting those anti-air guns up and rolling. So, and let's just deploy these guys so everyone is in position in time for the war. So we have, let's see, 17 divisions right here. First, I'm gonna assign you guys. Uh, let's see, then I need two more divisions right there. And all seven of you are going to join up right there. Uh, let's actually do the opposite. 
you guys are gonna be deployed like this right there so you cover all of that and these 10 divisions you're gonna be your separate own thing yeah sure you can join up right here and join that field marshal right there because well then you at least have one and you're gonna join up right against here you're actually one of few units that can have an order drawn out because well you only have this tiny tiny front uh, i'll have to fix that front later though once we actually declare the war and then we have the 24 divisions that are gonna be a bit sneaky you're gonna join up with the same field commander why the hell not you get you and you're gonna join up let's see you're gonna get over right there perfect and <coughs> god damn it you're gonna be a pain in their ass okay Let's see, anything else? Are we ready for this war? I think we are. We have everything, well, everything good upgraded to their, well, appropriate levels. We have not neglected anything that will give us a bonus, right? Actually, we can get that camouflage, thank you. Uh, and the air guns are almost maximum upgraded. Let's fix that as well. Uh, the source of Russia, we need, well, I want a constant flow of you. Let's have like 10 divisions right there, constantly being produced. We have 3.6k modern tanks, we have 13k mechanized. Oh, so that is being drawn. Well, it's being drained quite quickly anyway. Uh, let's bump up that artillery. So, what are we gonna do? I think we are going to just say uh, we don't need that many. We were overdoing that. That's fine. That, let's reduce this. Uh, we don't need actually SP. How are you doing? Uh, 1.9k, yeah, that's not good enough either. I'm gonna pull back with 10 tanks actually, and you're gonna reinforce the rest of it. And that should be a couple of free factories right now. Apparently not, wow, really? Okay, let's pull back with another, f there we go. Now everyone have the proper things and let's, well, let's go up to 140 right there so it looks nice. Uh, yeah, then we're looking pretty good. Thank you. And then we have, yeah, expand those offices, sure. Okay. Are we ready for this? I think we bloody are. The war goal, ready? Nope, not yet, but very, very soon. So, we have a tank line this entire front. Just follow it. Follow it all the way up. And then continuing. We're missing right there. We're missing one freaking guy right there. Actually, we're missing two guys. Uh, let's see, do we have a spare one somewhere? Right there. You are gonna get up right there. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I could have just made one and have two divisions assigned to it. But whatever. It looks like that now. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's everything we have against Greece. We have against Turkey. Excellent. Is there anyone I have missed or anything similar? We check the faction map mode. NATO all around right here. Cool. We have a garrison division stationed on, well, stationed on all ports that I have access to. Uh, I think we might have to push right there and see if we can bring that down with that infantry unit. Otherwise, that entire garrison might be useless. And uh, the same thing, I think there's one more place, but maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the last and final war of this campaign. The war against NATO. But thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That you like, comment and subscribe. And join me in what will most likely be the last episode next week. So thank you guys for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.